Hi friends, it's Jennifer. Hope you're doing well. Well, the rain has finally stopped in LA. It's a gorgeous day. The skies are blue with white puffy clouds. It's even warm out. It's getting kind of hot out. So I had to take my um, my sweater off and, and thank God I had this blouse on underneath. So anyways, I'm having an amazing day and I hope you are as well. What I wanted to say is I have my coffee here. So grab a cup of coffee or a drink. Um, what I wanted to say is, is that, like I keep saying, God has a special mission for me and my precious daughters. He's got a mission for all of us, but we know our mission is love. That's for sure, to share God's love. But what is the fruit of love? The fruit of love is joy. You can't help but have true love in your life. I'm not talking about superficial love or fake love or, you know, people just saying, oh, I love you, I love you, and then they don't really mean it. I'm talking about the true deep love that first and foremost comes from God. And when you have that love, then everything else blossoms in your life, everything else blooms, and you feel joyful. You, you feel that joy and you wanna share that joy. And my daughters and I definitely have hearts full of joy that we're gonna share with the world in our mission, in our God-given mission. That's a part of our mission, a big part of our mission, because life is a party. Life is supposed to be a party. Life is supposed to be a celebration. And sometimes people are so serious. You know, even priests, I have to say, yes, priests, if you're watching, and I know you are, some of you priests are so serious. You're so serious, you're so solemn. When you say mass, you're not supposed to say mass, you're supposed to celebrate mass. And some of you, not all of you, but particularly the younger ones, you would think that the younger priests would really be full of joy because they're young and, you know, whatever. But the, the ones that I would say under 55 or 56 years old, seem to be caught up in their own drama in their own mind or their own egos or their own insecurities or wanting to impress other priests or impress people with all their knowledge that they learned in the seminary. So they're so busy with their own agenda of what they want to say and all that they're lacking joy. They're just lacking joy and I just want to go up to them and give them a little kiss on the cheek and, and, and a hug or something and say, lighten up and, and have joy in your heart. Let's dance because life is supposed to be a celebration. It really, really is. That's the good news. Jesus came into this world so we would have joy and life and have it abundantly. And, you know, he wants us to celebrate, you know, God, God sent Jesus into this world so we would have joy and have abundant joy and abundant life. And we would celebrate this life, not be solemn. I mean, he came 2000 years ago. So why are we still so solemn and, uh, you know, so uptight? I'm not, but I'm just saying some priests are and other people. So lighten up. And if you can't feel the joy right now, then find the joy in the good news of God. Because in every word that, that Jesus spoke and in every word that God spoke throughout the Bible and to our hearts, there's nothing but good news and there's nothing but a reason to celebrate. Um, I had mass this morning. I went to mass like I always do. And the celebrant, see, celebrant, celebratory, the celebrant, the priest was our bishop. We're very lucky and blessed to have a bishop at my parish. She's retired, but nevertheless, he is still a bishop and he still says mass, still celebrates mass. And I love when he celebrates mass because he's so joyful. He's so joyful and he's so happy and he, he gives such a, a message, an accurate message of God. And he was talking about, you know, in the, day, the days of King David in the Old Testament, they would, you know, dance with celebration for, for God, you know, with the old tabernacle and everything. They would actually joyfully dance wildly, it says in the Bible. Can you imagine dancing? He says, I'm not, I'm not suggesting that people get up out of their seats and start dancing wildly because we don't do that kind of stuff anymore with God. But nevertheless, like he says, in God's presence, we should be joyful. And you priests out there that aren't joyful in mass, I'm gonna have to come over there and just start dancing with you. I'm just gonna, you know, while you're celebrating mass so solemnly 
And, you know, so seriously, I'm just going to come up and, uh, you know, say, let's dance. And I'm going to start dancing with you in front of the whole congregation and see what that does to you. Maybe that will lighten you up a bit. I don't know. But anyway, I'm not just picking on priests, but I'm just saying, you know, after a while, I noticed that. Um, the priests in California, this is LA, this is California, this is where we're supposed to have cool priests, you know, and, um, you know, I'm from Southern Florida, I'm from New York, but I mean, um, I hung out with a priest in Florida, I am hung out, I sang backup on his album and used to sing in his concerts with him and everything, and he was a friend of mine, and he was very joyful. And that's the kind of priest that I'm used to. When I moved to LA, I expected all priests to be like him. He was young and charismatic and joyful and shared the joy and, and all of that and gave a message of joy and love. And I haven't experienced that too much. From Bishop Wilkerson I have and from some other priests, yes. A lot of the older priests, I would say, I've experienced that from. But these younger priests, guys, you gotta get it together. You've, you've got to, come on, come on now. Get that joy going in your heart and um, be joyful. So that's all I wanted to say. So anyway, um, put some Madonna music on and just start dancing, okay? Because um, after all, we are living in a material world. And um, we're all spiritual beings living in a material world. But you don't have to let this material world get you down. Um, maybe that's it because life has changed so much and so the younger priests are dealing with a lot more, you know, just a different world than the older priests were, than the older generation, like the bishop. But um, yeah, we're, we're living in a material world, but we've got the good news. We have nothing to be bogged down about. We have nothing to be weighed down about. We should be just exuberant with joy. I am, my daughters are. And that's a part of our mission, like I said. So lighten up to everybody. I wanna say lighten up and have fun and celebrate this life because that's what we're here to do. Celebrate, good times, come on. I went to Prince's birthday party. Yes, I did, the artist formerly known as Prince with Cool from Cool in the Gang. And if you don't know who he is, just think of the song. Celebrate good times, come on. He was my Prince. He drove me to Prince's birthday party. He was on the special guest list. I wasn't, but he took me as his guest to Prince's birthday party and it was a party. It was at a club in New York City in 1996 called Life. Can you imagine a club called Life? And we celebrated and we had a lot of fun. And so yeah, celebrate good times, come on. These are good times. Even if you have difficulties in your life, my daughters and I are challenged. We're, we've been unjustly separated for eight years. We're not happy about it, but we've got joy and that joy is gonna ultimately reunite us once and for all. And we're just enjoying the journey as we go. So, you know, you should do the same. Go after your dreams, go after your optimal health. Be healthy, be well, be beautiful, be blessed, be hot. God doesn't want us to be lukewarm. He doesn't want us to be lukewarm. He wants us to be hot and on fire for Him. He wants us to set this world ablaze like me and my daughters are already doing and we're gonna continue to do. And you should do the same. And I'm not just talking to priests about this. I'm talking to everybody. So anyways, um, enjoy your life. Enjoy this day. Remember how much God loves you. And be joyful. Be happy. Okay? And that's all for now. There'll be more to come. Mwah.